Eric and Brad, we understand that at last check, this 15 year old was listed in stable condition here. And as I look around, I can tell you that throughout most of the day, a city of Chicago police cruiser has been posted here on patrol. Now we are not identifying this 15 year old, but his friends tell us he is a very talented musician and that the school where he was shot was like a second home to him. The Upbeat Music and Arts Center is locked tight today, but from videos posted to its Facebook page, it's easy to see that it's a place where teens have found their voice in music. On that same page, owner Scott Barbeau addressed last night's shooting, saying students and staff were kept safe thanks to the quick and courageous efforts of our teachers. He also sent out his thoughts and prayers to the injured intern who studied and performed at the school for years. The school tells us the front entrance is secured with keypads and a buzz entry system. The 15 year old intern was completing his front desk shift last night and as a parent passed through the open door, so did the bank robber. As shots were fired, the 15 year old was hit in the arm and the bullet lodged in his chest. Behind another closed door in this larger music space seen earlier on social media, about 10 students and four teachers were rehearsing. The 15 year old is a student at Lane Tech High School. His band has performed at Riot Fest and has posted multiple songs online. In a letter, the school's principal informed families, the school's grief counselors and crisis team are available for those traumatized by the incident. In the meantime, Upbeat, which teaches as many as 200 students, is unsure how soon it will open again. At the end of the day, you might say that the student is related to three families. There's the family at Lane Tech, his family at Upbeat Music Center, and his own family that's at his bedside. Tonight, all are praying for him. Reporting live from Lurie Children's Hospital, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.